So I've been editing a video of Kamara Usman for about two days now, and I was just on Twitter, unwinding, just relaxing, and then I see that John Jones is out of his fight with Stipe Miocic. At first I was like, ah oh, man, they got me, like they're just trolling. Twitter pays for views now and things like that, and there's AdSense, so I'm like, oh, you know, someone's just trying to get a click, right? And so I just scroll, and then I'm like, I see Dana White pop up. And when you see Dana White, bro, you know that something's going down. Because Dana White just don't pop up on your Twitter timeline in the war room for no reason. There's a reason for that. And so I listen to this man. I'm like, he's not going to tell me that John Jones is out of this fight. And you know what he tells me? What's up, everybody? Here we are again. You know, John Jones was training last night, got injured. He was wrestling, and he tore the tendon that connects your pec to the bone off the bone. Eight months. Gonna need surgery, he's out. Eight months is about June, I think, around that time, June-ish. Yeah, November, December, yeah, around June. And I'm like, well, damn. I'm like, all right, well, I mean, there, at least there's one title fight on the card. And then he says, Tom Aspinall and Sergey Pavlovich are gonna fight for the interim heavyweight title of the world. Y'all know that this thing is 19 days away, right? I mean, thankfully, it's the weight limit is 265, so they don't really got to cut much weight. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they walk around 300 pounds or nothing, so it shouldn't be too bad. But what I'm saying is that is insane. We just had Alexander Volkanovsky come off the couch and... Yeah. Yeah. But... This time, it's two people. Two people are coming off the couch. Sergey and Tom Aspinall. I'm excited, man. I feel like I'm more excited for this fight. And I know everyone loves John Jones. I love John Jones too, but I just think that I feel like he was just gonna beat Stipe anyways. Also, I don't know why Stipe isn't fighting for a heavyweight title anymore. Like, does my boy Stipe, you know what I think it is? I think that Stipe, he probably wants to only fight John Jones. Like, I don't think that Stipe really cares too much about fighting. Like, for him, the John Jones fight was probably a legacy fight. And I'm sure they want to set that fight up for the future. And if Stipe goes out there and gets knocked out, then that fight is kind of dead. So I think the UFC is just like, let's just move in a completely new direction. And they probably saw Volkanovski come off the couch and get absolutely obliterated. They were like, yeah, it's probably not a good idea just to, you know, get guys in like 19 days notice and just send them out there and hope that they fight well. But yeah, this is, a, this is going to be a dog fight. Tom Aspinall, I got Tom Aspinall. Now look, Sergey, I think if he catches Tom, obviously he's gonna put him out. But here's the thing. I think Tom is good enough to move around, stick and poke, and get out the first few rounds. Now, they are coming in on 19 days notice. And Sergey, bro, I know that man ain't got no gas tank. I know he can't fight past round three. I said it, bro. I know, I just know it, bro. I know that man has no gas tank. No offense, Sergey Pavlovich. Man, you fight like an absolute animal, but I know that gas tank, bro. I know it's not good. So if Tom can just go out there, stick and poke, stick and poke for like the first round, maybe first round and a half, then I think he has a good chance. I think he has a good chance of beating Sergey Pavlovich. But he's gotta, he's gotta mix it up too. He's gotta wrestle him. And he's gotta be alert for that first round, boy. Cause Sergey's gonna come in there like, I'm just gonna knock this fool out. That's his plan. I'm gonna tell y'all right now what Sergey's gonna do. He's gonna charge at Tom and try to knock him out. Now that's Tom's job to get the hell out the way, move out the way, bro. Don't get caught by a shot. And then as the later rounds go on, you might be able to get him to the ground, you know, maybe get on top, mount him, land some punches, maybe a submission. Or he just tires out Sergey and finishes him on the feet. But I got Tom Aspinall. He's the early favorite. I don't care what Vegas says. That's the early pick for me, bruh. This is going to be a hell of a good fight. It's almost unimaginable for me because I'm like, this fight is just, I don't even know, man. Like, damn, bruh. Damn, John. But I'm excited, man. Wow. The USC, man, they, they come with it, bruh. I don't, you can say whatever you want about the company, but when things need to happen, they make them happen. And I'm excited. Take me to the beach. Beach.